guys, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. And this is Two Neighbors. So Adam, what are we checking out today? All right, Ryan, we got uh, we got Two Neighbors fan. We got uh, Mr. Anthony Mann. Uh, he serves in the U.S. military, I believe. Uh, cheers, cheers to Anthony. Uh, he has requested, what happens when you go AWOL? All right, so absent without leave. Is that what it is? Yes. All right. So that's what AWOL is, everybody. Yeah, you're, you're jumping ship without permission. All right. So in terms. Uh, obviously, this is something to do with the military. Mm -hmm. Anthony did uh, request it after all. So I trust you, Anthony. This I'm sure this is an interesting video to watch. Interesting title. Yeah. Like military. Man, I could never be in the military. I don't know about you. Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so cheers to you guys who yes. serve in the military. We appreciate. Uh, Everything you do for us. Yeah, thank you for your service. Thank you very much for your service. Uh, guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Two Neighbors takes two seconds of your time. And don't forget to turn on that little bell for, for notifications because uh, we post content a lot of the time. Uh, and please also check out okswag.com, punch in Two Neighbors in the coupon code at checkout, and you'll get 20% off plus free shipping and pay no tax on some sweet Canadian swag. Right? If you can do the honors. Let's see what happens when you go AWOL. The United States military has long prided itself on being an all-volunteer force, and data from around the world has proven time and time again that volunteer soldiers routinely outperform and outfight conscripted soldiers. American soldiers can enjoy decent, if not great, pay, medical benefits during and after serving, a very generous education benefits package, and a slew of other benefits all meant to entice everyday people to give up their normal lives and become a soldier. But sometimes service is too much of a burden, or a new recruit realizes that military life simply isn't something they're cut out for. Perhaps a soldier objects to being sent to a combat zone, either out of cowardice or on grounds of morality. For many of these soldiers, the only solution is a drastic one, to go AWOL, or absent without leave. But what happens when you go AWOL? Between 2001 and 2012, during the height of the global war on terror, approximately 50,000 U.S. service members went AWOL, oh, wow. either permanently or for short amounts of time. The military defines AWOL status as not being where you're ordered to be at the time instructed to be there. So technically, being late to formation can count as being AWOL. Hmm. Overwhelmingly, most soldiers go AWOL for completely unintended reasons, such as being stuck with bad travel plans, or are AWOL for only a day or two before returning to their unit. Some, however, go AWOL with the intention to leave the military permanently. Once AWOL, you have 30 days to report back to duty before you're officially listed as a deserter, and the punishment you face varies depending on how long you were gone and what you did during that time. Once you return from AWOL status or are captured by law enforcement, you'll face a military court-martial, which is the same as a civilian court with some notable exceptions, and is exclusively for military service members. Punishments can vary though, and as mentioned before, are typically meted out proportionate to the violation. Going AWOL for a day or two might earn you disciplinary action from your commanding officer, and can vary depending on their own judgment from everything from administrative and legal action to off-the-record punishments such as harsh mandatory PT sessions, or a bevy of very unpleasant chores that will make sure you no longer have any free time. Under Article 87 of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, or the laws which govern military service members, individuals who miss movements or the departure of a soldier's unit for a deployment can be punished in one of two ways. If a soldier misses the movement on purpose, as in refuses to deploy when ordered, they can be dishonorably discharged and have all pay and allowances forfeited for a period of time, be reduced to the lowest enlisted grade, the lowest rank in their service, or be confined for up to two years. If the soldier missed their deployment because of their their own neglect, but not on purpose, they may receive a bad conduct discharge, or big chicken dinner as it's known in the military parlance, forfeit pay and allowances for a period of time, be reduced to the lowest rank, or be confined for up to one year. It's important to note that punishments can be cumulative, so for example, you may be forced to forfeit all pay for six months and be reduced in rank. Under Article 86, soldiers who go absent without leave are subject to various penalties depending on the nature of their offense. Soldiers who fail to report to their appointed place of duty, as in being late for work, leaving work early, not reporting to a new duty station, or miss an appointment can be subject to confinement for one month, reduction to the lowest rank, and forfeit two-thirds of their pay for one month. Harsh, but it's unlikely you'll face any of those punishments if you're just late to work for a few times a month. But make a habit, and you could very well face one of these punishments or multiple. 
if a soldier leaves their post without authorization while on guard or watch duty, but does so without the intent to abandon that post, they can face the following punishments. Confinement for three months, reduction to lowest rank, and forfeiture of two-thirds pay for three months. If a soldier leaves their post but with the intent to actually abandon their post, the soldier could receive a bad conduct discharge, forfeiture of all pay and allowances, reduction to the lowest rank, and confinement for six months. If a soldier goes absent for no more than three days, they can face the following. Confinement for one month, reduction to lowest rank, and forfeiture of two-thirds pay for one month. Going absent for more than three days but not more than 30 days can land you in confinement for six months, reduction to the lowest rank, and forfeiture of two-thirds pay for six months. If a soldier goes AWOL for more than 30 days, they can face dishonorable discharge, forfeiture of all pay and allowances, reduction to the lowest rank, and confinement for one year. If they are AWOL for more than 30 days and their official AWOL status is terminated by apprehension, meaning the soldier got caught, they face all the same penalties plus confinement for 18 months. If a soldier only goes AWOL to avoid field exercises or maneuvers and not to permanently leave the military, that soldier can face a bad conduct discharge, forfeiture of all pay and allowances, reduction to the lowest rank, and confinement for six months. Once a soldier is AWOL for more than 30 days, they can officially be considered a deserter. Although there is a prerequisite that they be found as having gone AWOL with no intention of ever returning. Desertion is the most serious of offenses, and punishments vary on how the soldier was discovered after deserting and why they deserted. If a soldier willingly turns themselves in, they face a dishonorable discharge, reduction to the lowest rank, forfeiture of all pay and allowances, and confinement for two years. If the soldier is apprehended by law enforcement and does not willingly turn themselves in, they face the same punishments except a three-year jail sentence instead of two. If, however, a soldier deserted in order to avoid hazardous duty or shirk important service, such as a deployment to a combat zone. Then they face all the previous punishments and a jail sentence of five years. If, however, a soldier deserts during a time of war, the military court has the right to sentence the soldier to death or life in prison. Wow. Surprisingly though, the US military very rarely ever goes after soldiers who go AWOL or desert, and only around 5% of AWOL soldiers or deserters ever face punishment. Typically, only those who leave the military and then draw attention to themselves, right. such as by becoming anti-war protesters, are caught by law enforcement, with the military generally happy to let a low morale troop go and save money by simply training a new one. With such attractive enlistment boons, there's little reason for the military to waste time and money chasing down a deserter. A new volunteer is never far away. <laughs> Do you think that's very true? Lots of people want to work for the government. And yeah, it's a secure job. Yeah, good job, good benefits. Be hazardous job depending on to what you're, you're doing. doing but, um, certainly, you would get some pretty unbelievable life skills out of it. Oh, absolutely. Um, the discipline in being in the military is unreal. Yeah. The act of making your bed. Do you make your bed? Uh, no, mm. I don't. Very military thing. I know. And it's a sense of pride when you make your bed. It's funny because like a lot of other stuff I'm very like regimented with. Yeah. But not not the not bed. making the bed. Not the bed. Not worrying about spiders bed. crawling all over it, cats getting their hair on it, all that I other think stuff. When I was younger it was like always like, make your bed. So now yeah. like an adult I'm like, there's no one here to supervise. I'm now an adult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. But uh, yeah, so Anthony Mann, thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for your service. We appreciate that. If you guys have video you want us to check out, leave it down below. Hashtag my request, uh, just like Anthony did, and we can check that out. Yeah, and don't forget to check out okmswag.com. Punch in two neighbors in the coupon code to check out, and you'll get 20% off plus free shipping. Pay no tax on some sweet Canadian swag. Right? Yes, sir. What else should these little people know? Like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications. We post new content all the time, and we don't want you to miss it. That's it for our show. Thanks for joining us, guys. We will see you next time. Later, guys.